हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्कार अस्सलाम वालेकुम सस्त्रीकाल व्हाटेवर यू फील कनेक्टेड विथ दिस इज चंदन कुमार राणा वेलकम यू ऑल इन मैथ्स क्लासेस डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक सो लेट मी स्टार्ट विद एन एग्जांपल डियर स्टूडेंट्स सपोज अ पर्सन गॉट अ जॉब इन अ कंपनी विद अ सैलरी ऑफ रुपीस 12000 पर मंथ एंड हिज बॉस प्रॉमिस हिम that you will get an increment of rupees 500 per month if you will work properly so he became very excited and starts thinking after how many years i'll get rupees 20000 as a salary now he starts calculating now what happened then suppose at the starting he got rupees 12000 in first year and in the second year he got rupees 12000 Five hundred, then thirteen thousand, like that. Now he starts thinking: After how many years I will get a salary of rupees twenty thousand? Well, that is what I am going to correlate it with this chapter arithmetic progression. So, what is arithmetic progression? Arithmetic progression is a list of numbers, or we can say series of numbers. Where a particular number is added in the previous term to obtain the next term. That is what we are doing here. This is the first number, and a particular number. What is that particular number? Rupees five hundred. That particular number is added in the previous term to obtain the next term. In the same way, we are again adding rupees five hundred here to get thirteen thousand. Well. Moving ahead, suppose let us take one more example. We have nine, thirteen, seventeen, twenty-one, twenty-five. Then what will be its next term? Then what will be the twenty-fourth term? What will be the twenty-fourth term? What will be the twenty-fourth term? So how will you calculate? So in order to calculate the twenty-fourth term, we are going to find out one formula. So First of all, let us check out what will be that formula. All right, dear students, the first term is denoted by a one. The second term is denoted by a two. Third term is denoted by a three. Fourth term is denoted by a four. Then a five, and so on. Got it? Now, a one is. Obtained, or we can say, in place of a one, we can also write first term, first term, or a one. That is itself the number. So we can directly write here a one. Got it? Now moving ahead. If we have to find out the second term, that is a two. What we are doing? What we are doing here? Simply, we are going to add a particular number. What will be that particular number? that particular number is known as common difference that is the particular number which has been added in the previous term to obtain the next term so that common difference is represented by d small d so we are going to add d in the first term only then we will obtain the second term got it again third term third term That is a three will be equal to again what we are going to do. This is second number. This is second term. A one plus d is the second term. So again we have to add that particular number in the second term to obtain the third term. So definitely a one plus d is the second term. Now again we have to add common difference to obtain the third term. That will be equal to a one plus two d. Now it is third term. So again, we have to we have to find out fourth term. That is a four will be equal to this is third term. So again, we have to add that particular term in the third term to obtain the fourth term. So a one plus two d plus d that will be equal to a one plus three d, isn't it? So in the same way, if we proceed ahead, we can find out the nth term. So in the same way, if we have to find out nth term. If we have to find out nth term, so a n will be equal to a one plus what we are doing here. 
Suppose if we have to find out fourth term, simply we are subtracting one here. So if we have to find out nth term, so we will subtract one in the nth term. That is a1 plus n minus 1 into b. So directly we can say tn will be equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. This will be our general term. General term to find out the tn term of the nth term. Now we will take one example and then we will understand how one can find out the next term. Suppose we have example 9, 13, 17, 21, 25. What will be its 25th term? Can we find out what will be its 25th term? So very simple. What we have to do? Here a equal to 9. Then d equal to what? Common difference is what? Next term minus previous term. That is a2 minus a1. So a2 minus a1. That will be equal to 13 minus 9 equal to 4. Which, whichever you will take, whichever term you will take, definitely you will get 4 as a common difference. But make sure you have to take 2 consecutive numbers. 2 regular number. So, if you will find out 21 minus 17, you will get 4. 25 minus 21, you will get 4. So, at each places, you will get the common difference of 4. Now, A is 9, D is 4. We have to find out T25 term. T25 will be equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. Okay, I am raising here. So, T25 will be equal to A is how much? A is 9 plus N is how much? 25 minus 1 into D is how much? 4. So that will be equal to 9 plus 25 minus 1, 24 into 4. That is equal to 9 plus 96. 96 plus 9, how much? 105. Therefore, T25 term will be equal to 105. That will be our answer. Hopefully, you all have understood it well. Thank you so much.